Our professional this week is Luyanda Ndlovu. Luyanda is a young man who is originally from Peter Marisburg in KwaZulu-Natal. Luyanda is a quantitative analyst and also has a PhD in applied mathematics. Luyanda will be talking us through a day in his life and how he qualified to become a quantitative analyst. Luyanda encourages young people to work hard and pursue their dreams. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our amazing series. Remember to share with your friends as this could be helpful to them as well. Hello everyone, my name is Luyanda Ndlovu. I'm from Pizza Marisbeck in KZN and I'm 32 years old. I currently live and work in Johannesburg. I've spent most of my time in Johannesburg, which is where the majority of my family members are currently based. So I can now say that Johannesburg has become my second home. I am a quantitative analyst by profession, specializing in model validation across various risk types. I've been a quant for over 10 years now, since my early days as a graduate at Standard Bank. I first found out about this career when I was in grade 11 in 2006 through my elder brother who was already in the banking industry as a software developer. He knew that I was good in mathematics and he always spoke so highly of a career in quantitative analytics. This really had an impact on my decision making in terms of my career aspirations, given that I always wanted to be a medical doctor. I started my high schooling at Banato Park High and then matriculated from New Model High School, both of which are in downtown Johannesburg. In high school, I did mathematics, biology, physical science, geography, Isizulu, and English. The reason why I chose these subjects is mainly because I was doing well in them and also that I wanted to do a science degree at university in which I was made aware that these subjects are, pre, are a prerequisite. My top three marks in high school always came from mathematics, Isizulu and physical science. I think the love of mathematics came from my maths teacher was really great and always told me that to do well in mathematics you must have the right attitude practice on a regular basis and find solving mathematical problems interesting like the games you play on a computer i would say mathematics and physical science helped me after high school as i alluded to earlier on that these subjects were prerequisites to what i wanted to study at university after high school, I went to Vets University. I think the university was sold to me very well by its representatives that came to our school at the time I was in matric. They really went into detail regarding the university's ranking and the diverse opportunities for someone wanting to major in a mathematical related degree. So I basically fell for what they said and eventually made the application. While at VETS, I studied physics, pure mathematics, applied mathematics, and computer science. And then I majored in applied mathematics, which I pursued all the way to PhD level. It took me a total of seven years to complete the four degrees, three years for the undergraduate degree, one year for honors, one year for masters, uh, which I graduated with distinction, and then two years for my PhD. What pushed me at university was really doing what I love. I always loved mathematics and I kept on wanting to learn more. In terms of my tuition, I was on NSFAS for three years and then applied for the National Research Foundation, which is also known as NRF. That was for my postgraduate studies. In terms of my work, I work in the banking industry, specifically for UBS Bank under a division called Model Risk Management and Control. I am responsible for ensuring that all models used in the organization are of high quality and that model risk is well managed. In quantitative analytics, a model is basically a tool that takes in inputs in the form of data, process the data using mathematical and statistical processes, and then produces an output that can be used to make business decisions. 
and these business decisions really range from credit decisioning, fraud detection, pricing, and many others. Given the complexities and uncertainties that come with such models, you can imagine that any failure can have a detrimental effect on the business. So my job is to ensure that these models are developed using well-established methodologies and that they follow proper governance, which is very important to ensure that business decisions are made using correct models and that they remain fit for purpose. So on a daily basis in the morning, I work on sampling and reviewing model updates that have been initiated across the bank over the previous month. We have more than 2,000 models that are used to run the bank, so my sampling has to really focus on material and high-risk models, not neglecting the immaterial models, of course. My afternoon sessions focus mainly on documenting findings and review outcomes, which I then present at specific model committees. What I like about my career is that the learnings never end. There is always new techniques or methodologies that are developed globally to build financial models. And then this gives us as model validators an opportunity to challenge these developments prior to their implementation. What I don't like about my career is that it's hard to close a computer and spend time with family as there is always something that will keep you interested for longer hours. However, I can say that this is what I expected based on my previous consultations about the career, uh, particularly at university career fairs. So there is really nothing surprising at all. Uh, in terms of salary, uh, the current average starting salary for a quant is around 850,000 rand as at January 2023. And I'm confidently saying this as I was in management back in South Africa. And with experience, the salary really, really grows exponentially. When I started working as a graduate in 2013, Part of my first pay went to my sister, who raised me, and I spent the rest on a mini holiday, or short left, as we call it, back home in South Africa. This is really an absolute, an absolutely great career for someone that loves working with numbers, as well as translating mathematical theories into real-world applications. As a quant, the sky is really the limit. There, is, there are various opportunities in the banking industry, insurance and consulting firms. And this range from uh, being a junior quant all the way to executive level. My dream is one day to go back to academia where I will introduce courses that are based back to a career as a quant, which I think this will be very useful to ensure that this so-called scarce skill set is made available. My advice to anyone deciding on a career is to first figure out what industry you want to work at and why. Also utilize the graduate programs as they provide rotations in various divisions within an organization, which I really find it very helpful in setting up one's career. Finally, I would like to leave you with this message. Work harder than yesterday if you want a different tomorrow. Thank you for your time and all the best. <music>